<laughs> Hi there folks, we're, uh, we're back at the gun battery and once again joined by Andy of ALW Hello And obviously Philip as normal And we're going to take a look inside this flooded bunker uh, We were here the other week and we could see it was rather moist So today we've come back with waders, we look like prats, but we're going to have a look inside So, let's go take a look I don't think I've been in. Just through there. Uh, the, where did we go? We went oh, through the way, didn't we? So that little sheddy thing. Oh, should we just walk back in the way we did last time? Yes. Because the last thing we want to do is rip these waders. Yeah. Good point. I think they're quite robust, but they're not sort of bramble proof. So that's the command centre just in there. That sadly is the fourth gun battery there, smashed up. So if they hand out the way by presumably Mr. Farmer. These have grown a lot in the world. They have. They? Yes, it's definitely grown a bit more. I did have a comment on my video saying that quite possibly on the bottom rail of those carriage type thing. It yeah. could be a maker's name. Quite possibly, yeah. Please. Don't think we'll find them though. I think your view will be correct, but it'll be very... It might even be set in where the concrete is. Yeah. Well, I don't think there's a connection between the two, is there? I don't think there is, no. Usually the command centres are just one building. And I'm wondering if the entrance for that one is technically... That, over there. Well, it is for us, but I think originally it was probably down in... Possibly there. In there somewhere. We'll be able to find our way through. Yeah. It? Oh, look! Then that, then those steps are lovely and mossy. Yeah. Right. Right. Just, we might what just might lie do, down. Let's get my gloves out. Put them on and get in there. Yeah, that's why I didn't bring gloves. Depths of this command centre. There are steps by my feet. You can't see them through the brambles. Just going to pull parts of this out the way. Let's get down there, folks. I'll let you two go fall in and I'll follow. Get that on the foot. There we go, that's a bit better. So we can see some gold truck in there from the electrical installation and immediately we've got the blue paint there, make sure the blue paint and the white wash in the bubble. Oh I can see a frog. There's a frog in there, can you see it? Right in the centre of the screen now. 
That's been ripped up. And then up there, we put the maker's name on that brick. Anything. There is a frog down there somewhere. That's a. Uh, oh, that's that a. Uh, the in it, the oh, I don't want to call it a cistern, but it's not. It's the flush piece. Yeah. The flusher bit. Right. I didn't realise that just stops there then. Yeah, just a little room for these. Some of their gold blue bits. Yeah. And there is the clips from the electrics. Right there, in the centre of the screen. That's the, uh, the hole we put the GoPro down last time. Oh yeah. Suits. Okay. You can see a lot of that has been dropped down through the hole. They're modern bricks, so they're from the Hitsiland days. And then amongst it is some of the older bricks. That's one of the original bricks now. Together, 
That's where we put the GoPro through last time. Standing on. Definitely been gripped up. I think your, your theory on the water coming in is oh, yeah. correct. Both of those are dripping. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah it's very white, isn't it? I wonder if the light switch was on the end of that one coming down there. Yes, it's something up to right too. There's been something screwed to the wall there. Telephone? Possibly. And what was the window? They've gone to a lot of effort to break the window up mm. all the time. You don't often see modifications like that. We'll make our way out with this one. Yeah, sorry for messing up the, the water frog, but I'm sure you can see it uh, so we can't get out now. You want to talk to the other side? Can you walk on that bit? Yeah, you'll have to just come up here. I think where you went down to film last time, probably where we have to get in. Yes, it, oh yeah. I think it's always been locked in there. Yeah, there's rubble down there. Yeah, not that last time, but yeah, it's definitely a thin. Yeah. I think this would have been a semi-sunken walkway for the people to move from one building. This building here that Pip and Ernie have stood on now. We're going to go over there, and that's where the other entrance is. I think there was an entrance here, but it's partially We should see it once inside. Yeah. Yes. Maybe it really isn't, and maybe it's somewhere else, and maybe we'll find the entrance. I don't know what these large bits of wood are about. If you know, viewers, please leave a comment. Very large pieces of wood. Obviously saved for a reason. There's a hole there. We'll have a look up that hole in a minute. Let's have a look over here. The old Belfast what sink. What I'd call a Belfast style sink there. So I just prepare myself. 
In all oh, fairness, we should maybe tip that over because it might have a date on the bottom. Yeah, we'll have a look when we get out. There's yeah. one there, or is that the... I think it's oh, the other half, the is it? One. I think the metal thieves have took it out to, <laughs> to get the taps out. Yes, it'll be in brass. It's 50 quid sink to get 50 pence worth of metal off it. Jeez. I'm not sure just taking it and put on eBay. <laughs> you get more for the base. Well, folks, that was uh, the first bunker over there. Now we're going to go into this next section. Uh, we did have a look at this via the camera last time just through where we're about to enter but let's go and have a proper look inside. Here we go, folks. It's definitely full. But the, the tea. Yeah. Oh, there's a teapot. Yeah, I did spot that on a photograph last time. Ah, right. So we're gonna. Oh, yeah. You see it? Royal Air Force teapot. It could well be. We're just gonna look at the signalling. Looks like a signalling wire ink over there. Yeah. So we'll carefully move over there. Now this looks like it might have a little bit more things in it. Well, it's a bit rotten. I wonder if that is from the Second World War. It's like a tin teapot. What a nice this smells. Smell of vision. How old you that is, Eddie? <laughs> Um, yeah. Is there any markings on the bottom? I don't know. Oh, it's got stuff on it, but... Mm, there's something just there, I think. Just... Yeah, I know. I'll put that in the bucket. Who's, who's gonna rub it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously the metal used is... What is that thing on in the water there? Is that like a... I don't know. That ain't a vent top, is it? Hey, you know what it might be? Oh, one of the top yeah. top vents. So, oh, where are we going to place this? Look. Just put it in the bin. Put it in, in the, the bucket. bucket. <laughs> the one that oh, was... no, that could be the top of the vent, yeah. You're very right. Been chucked down and in. Yeah. And what have we got there on the floor? Right in front of you. There. I don't know, like a concrete. Is it concrete? Oh, no, it's, it's not heavy enough. But I'm churning the wood up, moving it. Oh, that's a cinder block, like a concrete block. Yeah. Like cinder yeah. toffee. Now this is one room we couldn't really see until, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, you oh, can't have you seen up in it, is that way? I know. I know. I'll go this way first then. Multi-rooms, yeah. You go that way, okay? Try not to uh, disturb things too much. Like mm -hmm. this other bucket? That's well, yeah, that's what I mean. You'll see things first and maybe have a look.
can see that there's been electrics in here, and then the cable's gone across the top because we've got the cleats there. There's actually a light switch. And then we've got just there, we've got a wooden piece below that window, and then there's what looks like the remains of a bracket on the wall to have a bookcase on it or a shelf. Bookshelf there, look. As we look out the window to outside. So this could have been possibly where they issued orders to the gun crews from, where they'd have a runner. And he'd say, orders back to the gun pits. But quite an old brick there in the water, amongst the newer bricks. It's an old shape on the work up. More modern, not being seen type bricks there. Been there more from the 50s, those ones. Well, that one is old enough to be part of the wartime installation here. Yeah. So you can see the white wash and the blue paint again. If that's original, folks. Be careful with the handle. Might just... I think it's actually quite solid. Yeah, it's only got slight vintage. Yeah. I'll put that there for now. Right that look it, but it's too deep. Is it stuck, stuck in there? The... Um, they're not kind of soft, so just try careful to keep it. Yeah. Oh, it's like a wash it up bucket there. Like a mop. Mop like bucket. bucket. Yeah. yeah, it does look like a mop bucket. Ah uh, well, this is obviously the entrance. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah. It's been blocked up. Oh, it is really. Oh, do you know, isn't it? It's thick. It... Yeah, it's not thick. Yeah. That's the entrance into here. Oh, that was. Oh, look, there's a light on the floor there as well. That. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The whole. Try and keep to that side if you can. Yeah, because yeah. Andy will want to see that. Right. Can we get a bit further? Is that a um, period? Yeah. Yeah. That's like the ones that they used to issue. Ah, yeah, right. So it could be from here in back in the day. I think it will be. Yeah. A little pan pot thing. Isn't it? Yeah, there is. Oh, it's all churned up now. I'm trying to go. Yeah. The lights. One of the light things is actually in the water. Just, just down there. Is it? Yeah. yeah Got steel joists in it. Which, yeah, you were right, Teddy. I just made a difference. It is, yeah. It's been backfilled. I must admit, when I looked at the GoPro footage, I was a bit confused thinking the windows for some reason would have been on that side. Um, isn't it like one of the. That's a really old bottle, that bit. Yeah. Uh, it's like one of the old bottles that was like that. All in one. All in one. Smiths. Yeah. We have a frog. Smiths. All in one. No frog there. And it's got like little measurements on top. So what is it? Was it a total medicine? Maybe? It could be. All in one. Sounds sort of maybe a cough medicine or something. So, so it's like 55 something on it? I don't know. Yeah, put it to one side. I'd like to get one of those for that. Yeah. yeah. 
Maybe I'll put on that mud pile. <laughs> Maybe that one over there, because we've got to go past it again. Okay, it's looking at it, that's a breeze block. Another bucket. Another bucket. Actually, that one. I have no idea why I'm standing there, it's a little squishy. It's more... I don't really want to get my hands wet, but needs must and armor. I'm sacrificing one to come down. Need the hole in my bucket. <laughs> Silty underfoot. Do you think that will have been a fire? I think that was a fire, yes. Little fireplace. Little fireplace, yeah. That would be a chimney stack. So we'll have a look outside to see if there is a stack for it. I think that's an old brick. I know. Put, we'll put the camera there. I thought it's that's where we put the GoPro down last time, the first time. Where that is in relation to when we're up there. It's what this? That's the wall we look at when we first walk up here, isn't it? Yes. Well, the ground level's about there. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Oh, I'm doing my fingers. <laughs> I'm ancient. <laughs> yeah, we've got Elvira. Yeah. yeah, so we've got a Richard Thomas brick there. Oh, Gimbal's having one. Does that sometimes, so do yours. Richard Thomas and Co Limited from Crowell. That's not far away. No, it's Crowell near Thorn. It's on the way to Swinefleet, which is near Goole. It's sort of yeah. the, if you go from Scunthorpe to Goole the back way, you pass through it. Yeah. Little village. Richard Thomas and Co Limited yeah. Crowell. Cool. So, look, kind of local bricks. Yeah. Yeah, that was just here. What was that in the corner there? This room seems to be quite heavy on the electrical installation. It does, yeah, that's... I don't know, a fixture of some sort. Because there's, then... there's a fuse box down there. Oh, is that? I'll look at that. Oh, what's left of it? Yeah. Is that the door light? It's there. In the fireplace, what office? Oh, yeah, there's a large metal fit in there. I wonder if that was a metal hatch to blow the windows. Mm. Yeah, and there's the bottles, folks. Right, and then you also lift that up because it's got that on top of it. The cup. It would appear to be almost a beige. Hmm? Another metal bucket there. There, there seems to be a lot of buckets on this side. Yeah. Like some of them look like mop things, like mm. like mm. No, that looks like over there, that looks like a water tank. There's one to the left. I thought that, but I think it's a breeze block. Is it? <laughs> I the think so. Yeah. Yeah, it's large for that. So we've got in here, that very much does look to me 
like a small fireplace for a little for a little fire, maybe have a stove in it. So we saw one of those at what is commonly known as oh I forget its name, but it's up there, Spain Point. Murray's Post, which is a nickname for an observation post out there, and that had a little stove in it. And that looks like a chimney stack. It looks like there's been a picture of something on there and they painted around it. Oh yeah. Can you make that out, it was. Yeah, there's been something there. There has been, hasn't there? And then there's been electrics come through behind the lintel. You'll see the water there, where it's been coming in. Now the, the gal conduit coming across here. So what they found out here, which looks like the remains of an electrical distribution system within this command centre. Yeah, look at this. Okay, we're well, back to this room. This was the command bunker. I keep forgetting I've got weirders on. Yeah, it feels weird. I have to get this thing in the corner. Also, keeps you looking at the Nothing. Yeah. I'm not sure. Sure. You build them, James Fort. Maybe it was. So we've been in all these rooms now. We now know the layout. And I think really we need to have a look and see if we can work out how old this sink is. Sure on that one, folks. Yeah, let him have a look when he comes up. So we know the entrance is just down there. 
which has been bat filled. And this all down there. And that's where we went first, folks. Here it comes. That was good, that wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. Did you get any dates on this? There's some numbers on the back. Um, I thought I'd leave it stood up like that so you can have a quick look yourself. Yeah, we'll do. I'm not sure if it's... It's definitely old. Yeah. But as for what year, because this was built in the 30s, this site, I think. 1938, yeah. Yeah. Completed 39, yeah. So Anything in the 30s could be a possibility. Yeah. But I did have a look at the numbers and you think, hmm. They're just like part numbers. Possibly. Perhaps there's like a, a website for this. Oh, I'm sure there's a complete forum for people into sinks and. Yeah, and the number on it will mm. be able to tell what year it's made in there. Yeah, you can see the word. It also had hot and cold water because there's two taps. 3, 4, 10, 16, yeah, it's just, just numbers, isn't mm. it? Oh, there's some lights in there. Is there? Yeah, what's that say? Is it tips upside down? Yeah, the tree's getting me microphone. I didn't know what was going on then. Oh, there. Can you see that, viewers? That'll probably show better on there. Uh... It may well do, yes. You get a view of that, Eddie. Yeah. Hopefully that'll come out and we'll be able to read that. Mm. So it's quite often when we're on site filming, you can't make it out. And then when we get home, we'll look back at it on the computer and it's really clear. Well, what so well yeah, the fact it's actually that. got two taps going through it. Yeah, hot and a cold. Yeah. And a slug. I'm going to slug. I think that was the Royal Bolton standard. What so, slug? <laughs> the chimney, or what we think was a chimney, would have been over here somewhere. Yeah. I wonder if it's under this. There was the metal girder across, and yes. where in relation to that was it? It was this side? Just to the right of the steel. I think the girder runs across there. Okay. There's a bit of a dip there, and I did notice it had. Uh, the brickwork was a bit damaged on the inside. Yes. Which would put the chimney somewhere here. Here. Where's that stone? There's a stone there, look. Hmm. All the trees are wet it rained last night. I know, I had the, some of the branches dripping down my neck. No, it might have been tied over. It could have been. The, the, the wooden... Uh, thing here yeah. was definitely a fence post of some description, I would say. And it's too early for me to lift up and move. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. So we don't know about the others. They look like gateposts. Yeah, they do. Large gateposts, but it take a lot of effort to move those up here. Well, so as you can see, very big. I guess if you were a farmer with a tractor, it wouldn't be a problem. No, I wouldn't then. No. Yeah. So, so, so easy to break stuff. At least we're gonna, we can make sense of the uh, the layout now. Yes, that is good. And I wonder if that was for a lesser purpose than this. Yeah, this see, there's a lot of electrics in here. Yeah, that would make me believe that this was the one where essentially with this central room. Yeah, yeah. The central room would have been the command room, and then that would have been. Like the crew and restroom, perhaps. Because the shelters out on the gun battery were literally a shelter, weren't they? Yeah. So no sign of toilets in there. No. Or well, here, for that matter. No. They seem to just make those out of wood. Yeah. Just have an L yeah. toilet. Uh, wood yeah, yeah, yeah. Put outside. Uh, maybe, though, the that other area uh, we're going to take yeah. a look at might have actually had some evolution blocks of some description. Yeah, the for people. What we'd call the communal site. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to go have a look around there now, viewers. Yep. That communal site. Uh, 
could probably squeeze back out of this way, can't we? Yep. Do we de weird her first or? Ah! You found. There's the back of those little cutouts we could see. Ah, yes. That's the one over there where I said there was probably signalling cables, and then that was the one. So that'll put the chimney stack in between those. Yeah. There's no sign of it at all. How oh, odd. No remains. So that is a bit of a mystery. Hmm. Unless it was like a little air conditioning duct. Because they used to have natural black air conditioning in it. That's, that is yeah, a good possibility, yeah. yeah. There's our random car wheel. There's always a random car wheel. I usually, I usually find old mini wheels. You know, oh, really? the, the small ten-inch ones. Yeah. Where's yeah. that one from? Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't, I didn't look that closely. Well, you're good at doing that sort of thing. Well, then I am, but <laughs> you've seen one wheel. You've seen them all. Oh, all right, then let's have a look. Let's see what it's off. It is car wheel challenge. <sighs> yeah, that looks Persia. Wheel. <laughs> it looks like one, yeah. What Definitely. makes you think that? Because it's silvery white? No, no, just the style of it, but they're normally black. But it does look very Peugeot, sort of. Peugeot-esque, the tyre looks a bit beyond it. Yeah, yeah, I think that's definitely seen better days. <laughs> so that's Aidy Woods. Guess the wheel. Yeah. Like I say, there's always one somewhere. Yeah. Right, so... Communal site, commercial site. Yeah, communal site. Communal site. Well, we, we assume it is, just from the old maps and buildings yeah, that show up. Squares and rectangles over here, and there's no space behind us for a communal site. There's just no room or natural area where there would be one, and all these. Anti-aircraft positions used to have Nissan huts, little rooms for uh, rest and recuperation because when a Luftwaffe went flying over and there was no drills or practice going on, there was nothing to do. So the crew just go play cards, jump and straight away I can see over there Eddie. Yeah, I spotted it. Very old bricks. Yeah. Which makes you wonder. Are these piles of rubble? Piles of rubble, yeah. And this is where the communal site was. Let's just go look at this next. This is quite potentially where the old buildings were. There's a bit of steel work in there. Steel work in very high quantities of large quick build concrete so that's probably a building that's probably a building underneath all the nettles it's interesting that the water tank there has got MOD style fence posts around it with a barbed wire on top it has yeah yeah there's more rubble there so it looks like we're far too late, but this is very likely a communal site. It's just a deep here. See if they're the same makers over there. It does look like it. Yes, this is definitely the footings for a building. Now, allegedly, this should be the site of a Nissan hut. You're stuck there, folks. This is definitely a, a footprint of one. Well, I don't know if it's Nissan hut or solid structure. Right, it's the base of the building, yes. 
Brick edge in there. Brick edge in there, look. Very old. And then a concrete base there where yeah. it is stuck. Quite a big one. Yes. And I'm sure on the pictures that you showed me, there was a Some, large rectangular building here. I think here. there was, yeah. It was square and rectangular building in the row all over here. Maybe put a picture up of it. Sorry if it's a bit breezy folks, but I've no microphone today. So this is all... I think I can see the remains of a Nissan hut. I think that could be, that is the location of the Nissan hut on that corner. A little sheet in there, folks. I wonder if that was part of it. See that? There's some in there as well, Old suggesting they've just dropped them, haven't they? They've just dropped them off to the wall, yeah. Don't need those, get them Well, it looks like the uh, remains of the Nissan hut up there. Yes. But there was more buildings on that picture. Yes. Sort of all around. All around here. I mean, there's very large, unnatural mounds. And amongst the telecommunication buildings here. There's a building there, but that looks a bit pre-war, um, post-war rather. Yeah. Very Something cool. here. That is an old MOD type concrete road. We've seen those before, haven't we, Eddie? Yep. The concrete roads, the quick build. Yeah, look at the brickwork on there. It's going up on the... Uh... Oh, yeah. Well, the water tanks were there on the Second World War drawing. Yeah, so yeah. So they were likely... This is a commercial reservoir here. Yes. yes. But it was here. The water tanks were here during the Second World War. And the communal site was just built around it. Obviously water tanks to build where it's high. And so our anti-aircraft composition. That was a caravan. Is the World War MOD Nissan hut <laughs> that's yeah. just been bashed up and dumped. That was its location, I think. It shows on earlier like Google View maps, it's still been there. Yeah. So I think that's more recent. They've demolished it recently. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that little building. Seems to be fenced off on its own. More buildings here. Parts of it are, parts of it are just landfill that have been chucked with it. Just like that, that's what you did. <laughs> but 
this is the missing part. Because it wasn't here on the map. And there's one here now. So they wouldn't have got rid of the old one and put a new one in it. This has got the line. Right. Right. 